Irina walks past at this derelict monument every day when she takes her grandson to school. She feels uneasy walking under this massive Soviet-era statue. It's better to dismantle it than for such a lump to stay here. First, it's very dangerous. Second, it doesn't look good. I believe that monuments don't have to be so tall. It's dangerous for people who walk by. Another reason why many in Lviv would like to see this Soviet relic disappear is the law on decommunization that outlaws the public showcase of Soviet symbols. It was built in honor of the Soviet armed forces. There was a decision of the district administration court of the city of Lviv, which states that the star on the Monument of Glory is a symbol of the totalitarian communist regime and falls under the law of decommunization. Meanwhile, representatives of the Ukrainian Institute of National Remembrance do not consider the statue to be in breach of the law. The monument featured symbols which reflected stages of the war and demonstrated soldiers, representatives of various kinds of troops. This is what distinguished it from the others. The symbols on it were primarily of a military and political nature. Even the star, the order of victory, was an order given to those who took part in the war. There were Ukrainians among them. Nevertheless, the Lviv City Council took a decision to remove the monument. The complex wasn't owned by anyone, that's why no one restored the monument. A decision was made to examine it and decide how to eliminate the risk of accidents. We came to the conclusion that it can only be done through dismantlement. Workers began taking apart the 30-metre beam, while discussions regarding the rest of the structure continue. Maybe it would be good to build some monument on this site which would glorify Ukrainian military victories of all periods. The bas reliefs decorating the granite beam were donated to the Territory of Terror, a local museum dedicated to the Soviet totalitarian regime, reported by Yulia Biel for UATV.